Howdy! It's Jim Arado, and this is March, late March 2023. We're in Peebles, Ohio, a, a town that's fairly new to me. I believe it's about an hour east of Cincinnati. It's only a couple of hours away from Lexington, and we realized this was a neat area that had some cool stuff going for it, and it was probably one of the closer areas to us that we've not explored. Yeah, so we, we got up here, we stayed at the Murfin Ridge Inn, which is in West Union, about 20 miles south of here, I believe. And, oh yeah, we explored, there's a really cool coffee shop here, the Green Beanery. It is in an old house that uh, was moved when a, a road was constructed through here, and it was also a bed and breakfast, really cool coffee shop, I'm going to put up another video about it. But also up through here is the Serpent Mound, kind of famous Southern Ohio, Native American structure, I guess you would call it, that's somewhat mysterious. They're not even sure when it was made or, or, or which uh, group built it. But, uh, but anyway, we drove through Peebles because uh, we were up here, very nice rural area, and we liked it a whole lot. And, and we liked this area a, a ton. And we got out, we drove around. It was a very windy day, and it had been raining, but we still had a nice day. The skies, the skies looked great. Through here also, just for what it's worth, and I'm, I'm probably going to put up separate videos on these, but we did find a couple of Morgan's Raid historic markers and found a couple of uh, buildings associated with that raid. I've, I've thought about trying to retrace that raid, maybe take a week or so to do some of that, but... Um, yeah, it kind of goes in different directions. You have different groups going here and there. So I might uh, I might just try to hit those areas, you know, as I find myself in those spots. But I did find a couple of Morgan's Raid sites while we were here on this day. Uh, cool train station, cool little town up, uh, up through here. I believe the population is right under 2,000. And real quick, from a historic marker in town... Peebles, uh, platted in 1881 by a Isaiah Custer on the junction of Old Zane's Trace and the Cincinnati and Eastern Railway, incorporated 1886, named after John G. Peebles, a uh, Portsmouth, Ohio businessman. David Nixon constructed the first house in town, operated for many years as the Nixon Hotel. Annual Chautauquas were conducted on ground south of the railroad beginning in 1906 and continuing through 1917. And again, we just went through their kind of town area. We're, we're actually heading up towards that Serpent Mound. And from where we're at, I think we'll be there in just a, a few minutes. But, but yeah, just a great area. Uh, several Amish businesses through here if you're uh, into, you know, Amish country. Well, this is definitely an area to hit. I know we've spent a lot of time a little more northern, uh, I guess going up north further into Ohio. We've been to Sugar Creek and Berlin and Mesopotamia, Lancaster up in Pennsylvania. But this was our first time really exploring this area, and I'm glad we got to it. We, we didn't see a whole lot of Amish out in buggies, but when we went, when we went to the Amish Ram businesses, there's a Yoder's kind of bulk food place, furniture, and then there was also a Miller's, I believe a little bit further south. We did see a lot of Amish work in there, and they're, um, I, don't know, I'm, I'm a, I don't want to say I'm a fan of the Amish, but I'm, but I'm a fan of the Amish. I like what they're doing, I like their lifestyle, and we enjoy going places like this.